Good morning. So today's lesson is 704A, the mystery of the cold pizza delivery. So this is one of my favorite lessons. Um, it has less to do with earth science for right now. It's going to have more to do with it a little bit later. Um, but just have some fun with this. Go with it. Uh, don't ask too many questions. Um, what this lesson is about is I'm going to teach you how to think about something in a certain way. We're going to use that um, to uh, figure out a sequence of events. So it still has something to do with what we're talking about, but we're going to go in a whole different direction today. All right, so today's lesson is the mystery of the cold pizza del delivery. Um, and we are going to have uh, four pizza eaters. And those four pizza eaters, uh, what we want to do is we want to figure out who got their pizza first. Uh, and we can figure out some, anything else we can along the way. So in this, in this lesson, there are some rules that we need, to, uh, we need to lay down right at the beginning. And these rules are really important for this particular lesson. All right, so the rules for cold pizza delivery. Uh, number one, uh, pizza, cold pizza, no one delivers cold pizza. Um, so in order to have cold pizza, like I really like cold pizza. I don't know if you do, but I do. Um, so the idea is no one delivers cold pizza. So if I want to have cold pizza, we have to have it delivered, and then we need to put it in the refrigerator for a while so that it gets cold before we can eat it. So you know, rule number one is pizza can never be eaten straight out of the box when it arrives. We have to put it away in the fridge first. Um, this is an important rule for this lesson. Second thing, as a pizza eater, uh, we have to show good manners. And in, in my house, good manners means that you never take the last piece. So in this particular case, the rule is, is that you can only eat half of whatever is left. Um, that's another big part of this, this, this lesson is you can only eat half of whatever there is left. All right. Last, last rule is that some, uh, some people obviously eat at different rates. Um, some people can scarf down a pizza all in one shot. Some people can, um, have to have one slice and then come back and have another slice a while later. Uh, and yes, that's going to be part of our rule too. In this particular case, however, people, the people, um, our, our pizza eaters are going to have uh, a time between the turns that they can have some of their pizza. All right, so we're going to come back to these rules. So just let's just review. So number one, pizza can never be start. You can never start to eat the pizza uh, as soon as it's delivered. It has to wait for a certain amount of time first. Second, um, the pizza eaters have to eat half of whatever is left during any one. Uh, turn at eating. Third, people will eat at different times. Um, and that is our last rule. Okay. So we're going to use these rules to talk about four different pizza eaters. And our goal is to be able to figure out in what order did the pizza eaters get their pizza. <laughs> All right. So here's how this works. So I'm going to walk through this, um, and when I get to the end of it, or as I go through it, I'm going to ask some questions. The video is going to pause, uh, and the Ed Puzzle will kick in. Um, for those of you guys at home on flying, uh, no Ed Puzzle. So just do your best at answering the questions. All right. So when the pizza arrives, we're going to call that uh, we're going to call that turn zero. All right. So at turn zero, question. Pizza arrives. It goes into the fridge so that it's cold. How much pizza is actually going into the fridge in terms of percentage? Well, the whole pizza is going in. So that should be 100%. All right. And that's going to be time zero. All right. Now, according to this, cold pizza eater A eats every 15 minutes. So every 15 minutes, pizza eater A can have a turn at his pizza. So we get to turn one. Now, at turn one, the rule is, is that pizza eater A can only eat 50% of whatever is remaining. Well, how much is remaining? 100%. So how much can he eat? All right, so half of 100% is going to be 50%. And that took pizza eater A, he had to wait 15 minutes before he could do that. All right, so already we can see that uh, Pizza Eater A is following the rules. All right, so 
he had to wait until the pizza cooled down. So the pizza went in the fridge for the first turn. Then he had to wait 15 minutes in order to um, in order to have a turn at his pizza. So at that point, he was able to eat 50%. All right. So now he has to wait another 15 minutes. So at turn two, how much pizza is left? There's 50% left. All right. So if there's 50% left, then how much pizza uh, can he eat? Let's try looking at it like this. So let's draw pizza over here on the side. All right. So originally he started off with 100%. There it is. And then he was able to eat 50%. All right. So he ate 50%. So that part's gone. That means there's only 50% uh, left. So now when he eats another half, what's half of 50%? So if you take 50% and divide it by two, we get 25%. So he's gonna be able to eat 25%. And that would bring him to 30 minutes. All right, let's continue. <coughs> Wait till my chart catches up. All right, so at turn three, there's only 25% of the pizza left. So if we cut that 25% in half, what do we get? You need to use a calculator. All right, so if you take 25 and cut it in half, you get 12.5%. And that would have brought our pizza eater A to 45 minutes. So after 45 minutes, there's only 25 or 12.5 percent of the pizza left this one last little slice all right so let's go another another turn so at turn four we get 6.25 percent and that's going to be at 60 minutes and there's the slice right there so we have that one tiny little slice left and then another turn is going to be 3.12. Yep, 3.125%. Now, these percentages are getting kind of low here. As a matter of fact, that pizza slice is getting really thin. Almost to the point where there's not much point in having that pizza slice left, even though the manners rule says that we have to leave, we always have to leave half of whatever is there. So we still need to keep going. All right, so turn six, what is half of 3.125? Again, you're totally okay to use your calculator, your phone, or your computer to do this calculation. I'm gonna ask Alexa. Alexa. What's 3.125 divided by 2? 3.125 divided by 2 is 1.5625. And that's going to bring us to 90 minutes. All right. So now we're getting to a point where this pizza slice is getting really super thin. And it's actually at a point where there's really not a lot of difference between like one sliver of pizza and another. We can keep going on this, um, but we're really getting down to a point where the amount of pizza just doesn't matter anymore. Um, and it's getting kind of silly. All right. Now, the important part about this is because of these rules, we're going to see some patterns. So first of all, look at the turns. The turns are going in order by ones. Second, look at the pizza. What's happening to the pizza each time? The rule is, is that during each turn, the pizza gets cut in half, and that's what's happening. 50 is half of 100. 25 is half of 50. 12.5 is half of 12.5 or 25, and so on, until we get down to the point where the amount of pizza left is so small, it just doesn't seem to matter anymore to us. Now, theoretically, though, we'd still be cutting it in half. We're just getting down to the point where you'd have to, like, cut that slice with a laser. All right. So what does this do for us? Well, <clears throat> if we follow these rules, what we can do is we can go examine how much pizza is left at any one point, and we can determine how long ago the pizza was delivered. So let's say that we walk in, we pause our pizza eaters, all of them, 
and we walk into their, their homes and we examine the pizza box. And the pizza box has a certain amount of pizza left in it. So in the case of, in the case of Pizza Eater A, uh, we're going to say that we walk in and we find that there was 25% of the pizza left. All right. So at 25%, that means that we walked in on the Pizza Eater A during turn two, at the end of turn two, 25% of the pizza is left. What that means is the pizza was delivered 30 minutes ago because only two turns happen when there's 25% left. So Pizza Eater A <coughs> had their pizza delivered 30 minutes ago. All right. So we're gonna, we can use these rules and build this chart to figure out how long ago something happened. So let's see if we can do this again with a different pizza eater. 